The Wall Street Journal reported Friday that federal prosecutors in New York are investigating U.S. President Trump's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani's, ties to Ukrainian energy projects and whether he violated federal lobbying laws. Bloomberg, citing three unnamed U.S. officials on Thursday, reported federal prosecutors in Manhattan were investigating Giuliani's financial dealings that could include possible campaign finance violations and a failure to register as a foreign agent. Reuters could not immediately confirm the reports. Neither Giuliani nor a lawyer who represents him immediately responded to requests for comment. A spokesman for U.S. Attorney Jeffrey Berman in Manhattan declined to comment. Citing people briefed on the matter, the journal said two Giuliani associates, Lev Parnas and Igor Fruman, pitched a new company and plans for a Poland to Ukraine pipeline carrying U.S. natural gas to Ukrainian officials and energy executives earlier this year and said the project had White House support. Farnes and Fruman also told Ukrainian officials that Giuliani was a partner in the pipeline venture, a project of their company, Global Energy Producers, the newspaper said, citing one of the people. In a Friday interview with the newspaper, Giuliani denied involvement in the energy company and pipeline pitch and said he had no indication prosecutors were looking into the matter. I have no personal interest in any business in Ukraine, including the business, including the wait. Oh, including that business. I, I misquoted him. So that this is this whole story is now fake news. Um, apparently, and I've never actually seen this. I didn't know what people thought was so interesting about Ukraine. I just saw it as this place that Russia annexed, but apparently they wanted to have a a, a pipeline that would keep and how are they going to get u.s gas over here are they going to put it in a in some kind of container and ship it and if they ship it wouldn't it, we'd be able to know that it's a u.s jet going from america to ukraine there's a lot of questions that i i'm, I'm curious about with this but the gist of the story is they're investigating it uh God, I, I'm kind of surprised. I thought Republicans didn't care about energy and, you know, conservation and anything having to do with the environment. But they do, and it makes them a profit. And this is another conflict of interest. And, it, I, you know, it sucks because it's so, like, because I know that we have bigger issues, like the uh, seven countries we're bombing and the war crimes that are committed in all those different regions. I This is such a non-eventful thing that I really couldn't care one way or the other if Giuliani actually was imprisoned or convicted or sentenced in relation to this because all these other things of such a, a larger sweeping magnitude are happening. This, is this, if it's true, is a conflict of interest. But, I mean, we've already known about that from... Trump keeping his uh, his businesses, you know, and then going to Mar-a-Lago, what is it, a, a third of his tenure? So even with that being said, I don't really care. Um, I do think it would be interesting to see if this is true or not, because this idea by itself without being crooked. So if it was just two regular people that happen to know Giuliani attempting to have a natural gas pipeline, I'd be curious about it because it I don't think we've ever had anything like that where you take gas from one country and then have it connects it to other ones. But they're they're looking into him. They're going to probably... We already know these other two are in trouble. He just seems like he keeps getting away with all this stuff. I mean, we, we heard about the shadow foreign policy in Ukraine and now this energy... Th Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine. This is uh, the Ukraine year.